everyone. I'm Captain Logan. I've got Adam with me. And I've got Brandon with me. Hi! And of course, last weekend was uh, Comic Con, and there's a whole bunch of Comic Con news, particularly with MCU and stuff, that I'm going to be talking about this week on the Captain Logan Show. This may also come up a little bit there, too, but I wanted to bring these guys in, because uh, these are my Star Trek guys, to talk about the Captain Picard trailer, the Star Trek That's colon right. Picard trailer, which uh, was a thing that originally I was really super apprehensive about, and I guess there's still reasons to be. A little bit, but then I saw this trailer, and now I've got very different feelings, mm -hmm. and I really, really, really wanted to talk to you guys about it. Absolutely. So let's kind of uh, throw out the big things we know, and then go round robin and find out what you guys think about it, and uh, just kind of do some breakdown stuff. So I predicted Borg. It is going to be Borg stuff. Mm -hmm. In fact, like I said round round, round robin, robin. Why don't we just go through the major stuff? Um, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys have apprehensions about going back to Borg stuff? Is that what you were hoping for? I don't... Maybe, but... Not necessarily I was hoping for, but... Uh, I, maybe if they do it better than they did it, you know, on Voyager. I mean, it's been a long time since they had Borg, so... They have the potential to do great things with the Borg, and I think just based on the little bit we saw with the Cube, and how we saw the progression of Seven of Nine in the trailer, I think that... Uh, I think that uh, my curiosity is peaked yeah. on what they'll do with it. So I'm, I'm I'm curious because they said that he was coming back. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the, that's the big thing that's most exciting. Yeah. Given that we're also bringing in data and or before, however right. that shakes out, mm -hmm. I don't see how you bring Hugh back and don't talk about descent. Right. I right. Think you have to. Well, of right. course, because I mean that's the uh, like Hugh was he was this ended up being this force that the, the board couldn't exactly handle, you're, you're going to have to talk about the, where he came from and how this all went down. It's, it's got to be part of the story. I just think it would be really silly to not bring up lore right. mm -hmm. in yeah. this show. Right. Uh, but let me back off for a minute and also say I'm just excited that this is the conversation just after that like couple-minute trailer that we're having, mm -hmm. that we're even dealing with TNG continuity stuff. I right. wasn't expecting any of that. And I'm hearing some people, you know, looking at the Borg and Seven of Nine and saying uh, it looks, uh, like, creatively bankrupt. That it looks, like, that's a, that, that's a phrase I've, I've, I've heard a couple people say. That, like, it's uh, throwing up, like, the really obvious iconography. And in, in my opinion, it's... I don't know, it is kind of obvious, but only if it's bad. Like, it's what I want if it's handled right. right. Certainly. Right. What do, I, I think it's it's open to wild speculation on what the uh, color of the cube uh, is going to mean going forward. If it's, it's just a new version, like an enhanced version of the Borg, or whether it's, you know, that there's some reason behind it or not. Just really superficial statement. It's so pretty. I, like, yeah. I've never seen a Borg cube look that good. That's really <clears> exciting. <throat> but Discovery looks awesome. Right. And who cares right. at the end of the day? Because it's just so poorly written and sappy and, right. and, and who cares? Um, but uh, we've got a we've got a young girl who is, seems to have some connection to the Borg. Right. I think we have to assume Borg connection and that we're doing maybe the first contact thing where there's still like residual something rather in your brain from being a Borg. Mm -hmm. Certainly. And that she, she just kind of picks up on that. feeling with Picard and she's like, I can I, I can tell that I'm safe around you. I'm like, okay, they were both Borg. Mm -hmm. And there's a connection. His consciousness is still somewhere. She reminded me a bit of a River from Firefly, kind of, almost. She, well, and, and it's that that's interesting because it screams, well, this is what we did with Logan. Right. And it, like, because yeah, it, twenty three, like Logan. it screams right. Logan, and that uh, it could, in some ways, end up just looking like a really poor knockoff of that if it's poorly written. But the uh, you know, you know, older Picard uh, led series that is more like Logan and even takes its cues from Logan, mm -hmm. I'm fine with if it's good. Right. Like, certainly, really if am. they've got a good story to back it up, certainly. But you can already see <clears throat> several things that where they seem to be kind of kind of uh, influenced by that and taking their cues from it, like uh, Picard Xavier type, like 
Well, I mean, you, you know, he's he's older and he's retired and he's off in the middle of nowhere and nobody knows where he is. <laughs> uh, and yeah. and uh, there's this girl that needs his help and uh, nobody else seems to care about her right away. And he's he's got to he's got to go rogue and go yeah. off and do a thing. And, like he's not he's not senile and his mind not messed up. He's a compromised character that Charles Xavier was in Logan. Yeah, so it isn't that, right. but it is looking like it, it's trying to do like the the tragedy and the pathos. Right. And the School for the former Borg. Right. <laughs> and he's, yeah, and and uh, he's like like isolated on his own, like right. he is, like he isn't that. Except he's he's got he's got Logan, and this he's got nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that seems to be a choice. Right, right. So how do you feel the difference between the trailer and the dumb old teaser we got a little it's, while ago? It's day, and here's what's so <laughs> yeah. interesting about that because that teaser immediately was like, oh no, this voiceover it sounds <laughs> it's like terrible. Discovery, right. and there's like like just these really sappy platitudes, and it's ethereal, and we're not talking about anything of substance. And I get and we're just seeing a teaser, vineyard, but right. like it's just if they had just shown the vineyard and it's had no gone. talking. Right. Like, <laughs> like what then it's fine. That? There should have been no talking in that. Right. Um, here's what's really interesting, and um, I can't speculate too much because I have no idea what's going on. But that, or I have very little idea what's going on. When that teaser came out, we thought Kurtzman was still show running. Sure. Mm-hmm. And now we know that the main writer, what's his name again? Michael Chabin. Chabin, uh, who is a major uh, Chabin, that science like a fiction writer. Program. Uh, he's just a novelist. He's a novelist. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I thought, he, I thought he wrote sci-fi novels. No, mostly just straight literature. Oh, oh really? Yeah. That's even more interesting, yeah. isn't it? Uh, but he's been named since that teaser as the showrunner. Mm-hmm. And then we get a trailer that looks like a real show. And by real show, I mean like a thing that somebody might actually be invested in. Not that's like pretending to be Star Trek, but like actually understands the character that it's Certainly. dealing with and is maybe just telling a story and isn't just a, a, you know about a bunch of like again sappy platitudes yeah. so then how, how about this though so I, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the episode that comes right but that's not me saying that they have made a different show since then it just right. weirdly feels that way plus who knows how much in the Sorry marketing to make side of things that he was involved in you know as far as marketing the show Right, we exactly. Know, like yeah, CBS cut together and stuff. Yeah, and who they had write that. Right. But anyway, what were you so what? Uh, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the episode that comes right after, uh, right after Best of Both Worlds, where he visits. Family. It's called Family, yeah. and he goes and visits his yeah. brother yeah. there. So, how do you feel about that being the aftermath of the Best of Both Worlds, and then us seeing the vineyard in the teaser, and then showing us more Borg stuff? Well, the vineyard is much more of. You're right. I mean, that is tied into family, and mm-hmm. and I hadn't really thought about that and put that that together. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. As far as the aesthetics of it, the iconography of it, they're 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 giving us that because of all good things. Sure. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Because you know, he's an old man now, and he's the he's about the age he was in all good things. That's I'm the right. reason they do the vineyard. But you're right. The I, vineyard is there in family. I also. never considered right. that the vineyard in all good things was Chateau Picard. Yeah. I yeah. never considered That's what it that. Is. I take back what I, I... Chabin has won, like, a Hugo and Nebula, so... I mean, yeah, I thought he wrote science fiction. I mean, it's... It's... It, you know, it's... It's not straight-up science fiction. Like, you know, it's it's more... Science fantasy? I mean, what, what can we all hold discussion about? What, what is science fiction and what is great literature? Sure, sure, stuff? sure. But no, he's not talking about fantasy. About he's, he's talking about just a literary fiction. Oh, okay, right. gotcha. Literary. Mainstream right. fiction, yeah. <laughs> um, but, I mean, that's even a better place to go for a right. show. But what's nice is, if that guy actually gets to really run the show, right. if he really is the showrunner, and they're not just saying that, right. because, like, you know, behind closed doors, who knows, right? right? But, like, if he really is calling the shots and Kurtzman is, uh, like, there but not really calling the shots, right. um, that grounds it a lot. Right. And when we, when, when we know that we're doing Borg stuff and it's going to be, uh, you know, calling back to and adding a lot to the mythology that was there already, right. which I can't believe I'm saying, I'm so excited about that, <laughs> um, a, a mainstream literature guy is exactly what you want right. to ground all of that. Because what I'm worried about, of course, is really convoluted Borg nonsense. I'm worried about Borg clean. I'm worried about that kind yeah, of stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of people saying the the young girl is maybe a Borg queen. Hmm. And I'm not 
sure about that, but like, I'm not sure about that either. A teaser, but I didn't immediately think Borg Queen. Right. Like maybe former drone, but not Borg Queen. Yeah. So I don't know. That that'd be weird. Uh, but yeah. So let's talk about some of the major elements. Let's stay in the Borg place for a mm-hmm. minute. I. Uh, I am glad I wasn't eating or drinking anything when 7 or 9 came on. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. I lost it and call me a fanboy, it was a big deal. Right. Because, yeah, I felt the again, same. Again, I didn't expect anybody in this that we would recognize except for Picard. I certainly right. didn't expect anybody from any other series. Yeah, and, the, and one of the big things I complained about in going backwards, even if Discovery had been good, right. and it's unfortunate that it's not, but like even if that show had, had worked and been good, it's a big missed opportunity not to move forward and be able to use some guest stars uh, playing characters that you recognize uh, who have gotten older and we can see where, where they were. If you're moving forward, there's just there are so many actors still working that have been right. in Star Trek that it would be cool to see come back and reprise their roles. And I don't mean that I just want a bunch of rehash. I mean, move forward. Right. We have a living, breathing world. I want to see where some of those characters went. Right. And, and this is an opportunity This for is that. perfect because... Obviously, uh, moving forward 20 years, uh, Jerry Ryan can play a version of 7 or 9 that is the, the age that she is now. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's perfect. Like, And not only that, but <clears throat> so she comes in and she... she and it's has, not just one token thing, because we know we're going to get other characters. Right. And they have promised they're not cameos. Right. They, they've promised that everybody they're bringing in is going to have a, a, a role. They might not right. be like major supporting cast, but they're going to do more than just right. walk in on camera and leave. So like we know we know now, not from the trailer, but that Riker and Troy are supposed to be mm-hmm. in it. They're not going to walk in in one scene and leave. They'll, no. They'll have uh, something no. to do with the, sh- with the show. They may only be in one episode. Right. But if they show up, they'll get an episode. Right. Right. Uh, Hugh, I assume, will be a big part of this. He's got to be right. a major player. I in this. could even see and him being on the, the I guess, ship and that they're Frank's on. is supposedly directing a bunch of it. He's it's directing like, at least two. I think. But yeah. maybe more. Was, yeah, I don't remember how many. He's not directing the first part. There's a lady right. that I've never heard of who's directing that. Okay. And then I think he comes in in episode two or three. Okay. But I'm not sure about that. But I know he's directing at least two. Okay. So also speaking of seven and nine, though, yeah, it's, yeah. it's nice to see that talking about character progression it's nice to see what maybe seven of nine looks like now or sounds like now that she's been integrated into humanity for so many it's, years yeah, it's she's so got a, cool. she's got a real you know like this is what she wanted at the end of voyager in the first and place she's well adjusted and she yeah. sounds a little spunky and mm-hmm. like and right. just the attitude you get in the 10 seconds she's there is exactly what i would have expected. Well, we're we're gonna gonna to find out the big question though is she still with Chakotay? <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing a little bit of that. I, I didn't think of that. That's a good question. Also, uh, are they going to use this opportunity to do what Braga always wanted and kill her off? Oh, that's right. Because she was brought in to be a tragic character. Does she die in the show? Oh. That's, that's a question. That would and be... if it's a big board plot and she gets wrapped into all of that, she mm-hmm. could sacrifice herself. Like, there's, all, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Right. She could she'd get reassimilated. I mean, there's a lot of stuff <laughs> you can do. Would that be nuts? It'd be yeah. nuts. It would be nuts. But uh, as far as... And it, it speaks, I hope so... we don't do that with Picard. I hope we don't yeah, do Locutus yeah. again. I think that's just potentially way too gimmicky. Yeah. Like, could like, you imagine, like, an 82-year-old Locutus? I just don't think we should do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what are some other big elements uh, besides the Borg that, and besides uh, Riker and Troy that we okay. we're going to get? So, uh, one of the, yeah, we'll get to Data in a second because we really need to talk about the destruction of Romulus. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. That's major here. Right. Apparently, whatever Picard, whatever the reason was for Picard leaving Starfleet has right. to do with the destruction of Romulus. It's and I to, really right? like that, well, and we've just been told that. That's okay. not in the trailer. But, I hadn't heard that But yet. material that they, that they have let the leak has told us that. Right. Um, so the destruction of Romulus happened years before this, right. and I like that moving forward uh, past the prime timeline thing with 09, right. we're building on that. Right. I also would have been fine with ignoring it, but right. it's kind of interesting to build on it because, uh, and I hope that we play with this in that show, but you've got Romulus finally talking peace potentially with the Federation at the end of Nemesis, and then boom, their right. planet explodes. Yeah, it, yeah. And there's a lot of interesting stuff you can potentially do right, with that. Right, right, right. Uh, so, I'm, uh, so I'm glad that there's Romulan involvement in this. Um, they look like the 09 Romulans, mm-hmm. which is not surprising. I didn't, oh, they do, that's why they the show real, up. The real, real thin yeah. uh, 
eyebrows and things like that. Yeah, and the ears are different, and they're bald. Yeah, that's yeah. the big thing is they're bald. Some people are crazy th- thing on the internet where they're like, okay, the the Janeway destroying the Borg trans warp hub is what caused the so- the supernova and stuff. Okay, so that's, <laughs> here's the thing. I think it is possible that they will say that, and uh, I'm but she just tries to work or, or say something like that. So here's the thing. This is a. T- I'm really glad you brought that up because I have. This isn't a theory. This is very vague. Okay. I think the destruction of Romulus will absolutely be connected to the Borg. I think okay. it has to be. And the reason I say that is because it's a 10-episode show. Mm-hmm. They have already said if it does well, they might do more seasons, which is odd because it sounds like a miniseries idea in the first place, but right. whatever. Um, I think it would be it would make a lot more sense. By the way, based on that trailer, I think this will be huge. It will backfire on them massively if it sucks. Mm-hmm. I think it will be huge. I think they're going to get a lot of new people to come in that did not right. care about Discovery. But anyway... Well, they're going to get me to watch it. And it's going to be... Oh, but I mean, we will have watch parties here yeah, until yeah, it's yeah. terrible. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm-hmm. Exactly. But anyway, so... Uh, it's it's a 10-episode uh, show. Mm-hmm. 10 episodes, you're going to want, if they're, if they're doing it right, you're going to want to be really tight. Mm-hmm. One story over 10 episodes... And they've already said it's really serialized, which I think is silly that they felt the need to come out and say that. Like, it's pretty really obvious that that's what they're yeah. doing, but okay. Right. Um, so, Picard, uh, we know, leaves Starfleet, and it has something to do with the destruction of Romulus and his uh, involvement in in, in in dealing with that. And we've got a Romulan or two, because I'm not sure how many there are, but I thought I saw two Romulans in that yeah. trailer. Um, At least two. On his uh, makeshift non-Starfleet crew, and then he meets this girl, and Seven of Nine are, is there, and it's and it's and, and there's a some kind of a board plot going on. Mm-hmm. The destruction of Romulus will have something to do with the board. Mm-hmm. I'll be real surprised if it doesn't. I think all that's going to be roped in. Is it, uh, is it just me, or was he was Picard pouring a brandy in that scene rather than like a tea, Earl Grey? Well, I'm sure he's drinking. I mean, no, I just thought that was kind of funny though. I like I would have, it would have been probably. Even funnier though, if you've been drinking. It would have been the really obvious thing to do, and the, they're they're making a point with that, where it's like it's still it's still the uh, the, the the Picard you always knew in that he's principled and he's grounded, and he cares about people, but he's been through some stuff. He drinks now. He's been through some sure. stuff, exactly. Um, but the uh, but here's the thing: if the Borg are somehow involved with in some way the destruction of Romulus, it has to be. I don't. I almost don't want it to be that. I just think it probably will be. Um, it would have to be a really gradual thing because they knew it was coming. Like it was a supernova, and I don't know why it went nova and how they didn't know that was going to happen years and years and years before. Right. But if the board did a thing that caused the star to go nova, right. and like it destru- destroyed the planet, the destruction of the transwarp hub, as, as suggested by that theory. Yeah. Well, the that doesn't make Star sense Trek because didn't make any sense to begin with. No, it was like no, it does The whole half of the galaxy or something. But if they, yeah. yeah, but if they don't retcon it, yeah. and they say that it's the way it happened there at all, yeah. They knew it was coming, mm-hmm. and they tried to do stuff to stop it, and they couldn't do it. Right. If it's the transwarp hub, how would how would it get destroyed? But they knew it was coming. Well, right. maybe, and plus we saw post Endgame with Nemesis in the Romulans. So how is that gonna? You know, it would have to be some kind yeah. of slow thing. That, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, is that yeah. like they, it's a thing that they sorry if if the if somebody made it happen if right. it was a conspiracy in the background then it's a thing that they conspiracy. all thought the Romulans the Federation. I hope it's not ev- Section Thirty One. I'm tired of Section. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> the, but but if, especially with how awful they've been lately. That's but right. if but if if but if everybody thought it was a natural thing and then it turns out it was this big grand conspiracy it would be like the board going back in first contact and back right, in time right. so it's not a thing they do unless they've changed post endgame for some reason mm-hmm. and i think that's where we're going is that the the board are a different kind of entity now they've right. changed their tack and they don't work the way they used to um well they it, and so, that would be so, es- especially necessary if they lost their their ancient transwarp conduits they would have to be a different Thing entity at that they point. Ancient, 
Because if they've had them forever, why did they have to take so long to get to uh, to zero zero one in the first place? I, I guess that's not. Yeah, them. I know. I, I, I guess you're right. them out or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. How long must they have been there? That's I right. assume yeah. they haven't had. Tr- they didn't even have transwarp in TNG, but I don't know if that's true. Well, that's a good I point. I don't remember. They said they said some line line in. Best of both worlds about the Q going to trans warp. Oh, did they really? I don't know. Maybe the I problem with the this. Borg is that it's like Q. It evolves and not naturally. Right. Where every couple of times you see them, they are kind of retconned into a different right. thing. Right. But anyway, so um, we should get to the the data thing. Mm-hmm. Um, there are big mystery, and I like that it's a mystery. I don't. I like that we don't know what exactly they're doing with this yet, and I hope they don't give us too much. Mm-hmm. before January, which cannot come mm-hmm. soon enough for me now. Right. But um, I'm really surprised by how different my attitude is about this, just, right. wa- mm-hmm. just watching that trailer. And I hope I'm not duped, and again, call me a fanboy, but if it's what it looks like, I just am losing my mind about it. Um, so we have two things. Mm-hmm. We have what looks like data mm-hmm. at the end, and we have uh, some Android parts. Right. Yes. They're all broken apart. Right. One of two things is going on. One of them is cool, and the other one is stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. Data, so so we have a voiceover, from, or Picard's talking to somebody and says that uh, Data sacrificed himself, and we get that voiceover over Android parts. Right. Yes. The Android parts can't be Data. Right. Even though he's That's talking about thinking. Data, they can't be Data. He blew up. He blew up on this ship. But I don't put it past... Uh, Especially if Kurtzman was very involved, I wouldn't put it past some writers to come in and like and, and go. Well, we don't like before. We don't want to do that. So we're just gonna say retroactively that like the, those parts flew out and we were able to. Be, no, if if those parts are data, I'm not buying that. Can That's I, preposterous. Can I offer something that I thought about uh, yesterday? In a minute, yes. Because let me finish my statement and yes. give you the second. So it's one of two things. It's either that or what it ought to be, which is those parts are before, and the character we see at the end is before with Data's memories. Right. And that he is a new character, essentially, that is a fusion of before and Data. Right. Who is acting like Data because he has Data's memories, but could very much be a completely different character, which would be really interesting and kind of what I want. Keep in mind that at no point in the trailer, or at the end of the trailer, is he called Data. Right, they never say his name. Right? He also looks more like before in the face than he does Data. Right. Now, that could just be an aesthetic thing. They could have just been overdoing the yellow eyes. Right. But he looks more like before. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so, you, so let, me, let me run this by you. If that is before at the end of the trailer... Yeah. And we are doing Hugh. Mm-hmm. Could that be the disassembled lore in in storage? Yeah, yeah, it could. Yeah, what well, if that's disassembled lore? I don't think that's what they'll do. Okay. Because I think doing the lore and the Borg at the same time is a too much, and b a, it was a mistake of descent. <laughs> I don't like bringing the lore back now would be kind of insane. Right. A little bit. I mean, we never did en- enough with them. We like. But that's what I would. What if, if you just did use that, them for parts? If you did that, though, <laughs> do it like a. But if they have parts of lore, the fans are gonna cry foul when they don't give us lore again. That's uh, true. Um, that would be cool for maybe a second season, but I don't think you ought to do it now. Right. Um, but I hadn't thought of that. I guess that's possible. It, so, I think it's a lot more likely that V four was disassembled for some reason, and that Picard on his mission needs him put back together. That's very interesting. I think it's a lot more. But likely. would that why? Then the speculation becomes: Why would they have had to well, disassemble before? Why they, why they had to disassemble in the first place? Yeah, because um, I I kind of want to see a B four that's matured me after too. having the memories of Data implanted at the end of Nemesis. Yeah, me too. But there could be all kinds of different reasons for why they would do that, and he, could, and he could have evolved to that point, and over several years been right. disassembled for some reason, and for four, five, six years, and then brought back together. <clears throat> now, like, who knows? Certainly. Right. Um, did you have a theory about it? I did not. I was thinking the same thing, though. You are thinking, like, I'm not sure how they're playing that, but they showed that shot of the tray full of dated parts. 
Although I I if do it love that trip full of data cards. I can't I can't deal with that. <laughs> that's not that's not okay. Right. I'd be more okay with you that actually being that. lore's parts without actually bringing lore back. That, no, that's really interesting. I hadn't thought of that. And I mean, like he's he's out there. Like he didn't explode either. Did I'm he? pretty no. sure they disassembled him. Dana did something to him at the end, and he was like. <laughs> yeah, they uh, must still have it. Like he shut him down. Motion shut he down. shut him down permanently, and that, that Starfleet would have to down. have him on file. I feel like. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so when I say that you have to go back and mention Descent, I don't mean that I want this to be a sequel to Descent, or that right. I want it to be anything but a throwaway line of dialogue. Sure. Um, but I really like the idea of this being a a data slash before that is once again on a quest to get as close to human as possible and that uh, really pays off the promises that TNG gave us because mm -hmm. the movies kind of botched it and we've right. talked about this in commentaries mm -hmm. um, if he if, if they don't cheat and it's not actually data then this is a data that cannot have an emotion gem right, right. and that's great uh, also it would be probably wrong to make too big of a deal out of Data's involvement, because who knows how much he'll be in the show. Right. I mean, they are showing us that to bring us back into that show, or to get us excited about the show. Right. It is possible he's in that first episode and we never see him again. True. Hmm. Maybe. Though, I heard that Spiner dropped out of being on Supergirl, supposedly. To do this? And it's probably to do this, so I don't know. If that's Maybe. true, he's got a bigger part. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, because no, just seeing the interviews with Spiner, like he wouldn't just drop out of something bigger for a bit part. I feel like. Well, he also he wouldn't have to. He would probably have time to do both. Right. Certainly. Because I, uh, I don't know how big his role on Supergirl was supposed to be because I, I haven't been keeping it. up with right. that show. Right. Um, because it because it got to where it sucked and I don't care anymore. <laughs> but um, but like it, it's unlikely. That, like it could have been a a one day. You know, uh, I mean, like a one episode thing for Supergirl, but a whole show thing right, for this, right, or right. several episodes for this. Right. So um, I hadn't heard that. That's I really heard, interesting. Yeah. Um, any other uh, bits of this trailer that we haven't talked about that we need to? Um. Uh, oh, the Captain Picard Day banner, yes. which just as soon as I saw it, I just about died laughing. I was like, "That's the actual thing," and it's not just an insert shot of when it was on the ship. It's in a completely different location, right? Here's yeah. what's funny about it. Um, where are that... <laughs> and the, the voiceover. We don't want you to forget who you are. We haven't. Yeah. It's, no, no. It's, it's great. It's for the children. Um, <laughs> it's for <it's, it's> <laughs> the children. Um, there was a time where I thought that uh, us from my old Star Trek club were the only people that loved Captain Picard Day and made a big deal out of that. We're not. Captain Picard Day is like not. Yeah, they were it's, it's our whole thing. The Facebook, Star Trek Facebook thing. Really? Are they yeah. really? They kept talking about teasing Captain Picard Day oh, and stuff. Oh, goodness. Like, so they, like you, last month. If you know, why are they doing If this? you know TNG... They're making, like, like they're throwing fans a bone, and again, it's maybe <laughs> an obvious thing. It was it was fun to see, because it, it means was. that the people that are making the show right. like TNG and know TNG, right. and that's... Yeah, what, uh, it's what not a super that? deep pull thing if, you, if you're if you big fans of that show, but, can, but like, relatively? Right. Yeah, it's kind of a deep pull yeah, thing. Yeah, it's like, right. when, I mean, where, it where did you go there specifically? That was in the Pegasus, wasn't it? Yes. So oh, I mean, wow. it's a That's very good episode, episode, but so it, and well known. So, but still, it is kind of a random thing from that episode. Yeah, I didn't so that was Pegasus. when you yeah. say um, it's clearly not from that episode, it's somewhere you know actually mm -hmm. with the with the background of what's behind it, it looks like maybe it's on their ship. That's where I was thinking, right. and the and idea he that did keep it. The idea right? that these no, no, no. I like the idea that uh, somebody that's on his new crew. Uh, this like makeshift roguish crew mm -hmm. uh, found out about it or knew about it or was maybe like an old crew member on his ship and knew about it, kept it and then went and <laughs> and then went and replicated it. No. Um, I it, 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 I just like the idea that it's replicated. I think we got some signatures on it too. Yeah. yeah, that was so funny. The signatures from the kids from. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if they're oh, that. what if they bring in the little the, uh, Picard disaster. doll? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, what if they... Wouldn't it be weird if you had, like, 
um, little roles like that that came back and became major characters. <laughs> like, like, like the, the, the chief executive in charge of radishes, radishes comes back. Supra. That yeah, he was grew up. Name. He, he grew up. That and he goes, forget that. Name. He, no, that's that's right. terrible he name. grew up and he goes, "You made such an impression on me. I want to be a part Look, of the crew." Look, I mean, goo. <laughs> We're all gonna <laughs> die. Oh, gonna no. That was the other kid. Oh, that was that the other, was other kid. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, we are out of time. Any other major things we have got to make sure and bring up? I'm uh, glad you mentioned that because I forgot. Yeah, I, that. I think I'm good. That was my contribution yeah, to the conversation. But they looked all weird. That's what he said. They looked all weird. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Was, that's what it um, was. <laughs> so, so uh, just real quick, mm-hmm. the two of you guys, um, are you... Are you stoked, or are you nervous, or are you, like, cautiously <laughs> optimistic? Because that's the place I'm at now. Yeah. At this point, I will be watching it. If not, if it turns out to be bad, I'll just watch. I'm so intrigued now by what they're going to do. I've just got to be in it for this thing now. Whether I end up liking it or yeah, not. Yeah, but I mean, like, wasn't that already kind of a given? Yeah. A little bit, but more so now. Yeah, so like, now. even if it was the worst thing ever, it's Patrick Stewart playing yeah, the part. My yeah, favorite kind of character thing. in fiction. Like, I, I would, I would have had to watch it regardless. Right. Mm-hmm. But so, I'm not asking if you're going to watch it. I'm asking I'm, you, like, how you I'm feel excited. about it. Like, I'm excited. I, I want. <laughs> I really hope they have just one scene. Or at least or, or at least one of the yeah. uh, characters that comes in yes. that that we're familiar who, who would you want? If you could if it could be one character. I want to see Kira because she looks so cool in that movie. Yes. No, no that's you're right. I, you know I, that's not who I would have said, yes. but now that you say that, yes. that is who I would want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, Kira, I'm, Kira or Garrett. Garrett. Oh yeah, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely stoked now to see this. I was apprehensive at first, but now I have I like you've said many times. Don't want to get your hopes up, but I have hopes now. I'm worried I should still be apprehensive, but like. But look, we've actually seen now. It yeah. could be that the trailer is nothing like the series or the, the miniseries, and that would suck. But we've seen. A lot of times, trailers are like the thing that they're going with, and if that's the case, then I like what I'm seeing. Were the Discovery trailers bad? I can't remember. I don't. They were kind of ambiguous. It was just hard to it's hard to, to, see to gauge it. it. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, but like, I'm getting story meat out of this. Right. Yeah, it doesn't look like a video game plot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> the big boss. Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's indescribable. It gave me a feeling associated to Star Trek that I have not had right. in, in a Star long Trek time. Time. since Enterprise was on. Yeah. Right. And that show gave me that feeling maybe twice. But, uh, but <laughs> <since> <laughs> it, yeah, the, the, the sentiment is there. I understand. Anyway, uh, well, folks, we are uh, totally out of time. we got to get going. But uh, leave your comments. Let us know what you think of the trailer. Uh, if you have questions, uh, more things that I forgot to bring up or you, that you have speculations and stuff, uh, show up to the Captain Logan Show mm-hmm. either Wednesday night or Thursday night this week. We're doing two nights back-to-back at 7 o'clock Central Time, and you can wow. talk to me about it then. Uh, anyway, thanks so much yeah, for watching, everybody. Yeah. We sure appreciate it. And thank you guys for sticking around. Yes. And uh, hang out. We, we did something else this evening, and at the last minute I was like, fun. do you guys want to? Yeah, we went and saw UHF in the theater. It was in great. Theater. It was um, great. But we ate Twinkies. It was wonderful. But we were like, I, but I was like, wait a minute. I got both these guys here. Do you guys want to talk about the, the car trailer? So thank yeah. you guys for doing it. Absolutely. I sure appreciate it. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. I'm Captain Logan. This was Adam Meredith and Brandon Grimm. <laughs> see you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.